I'm gonna have lunch with you. Hey, I overheard you talking about me to other people and telling them how weird I was. I, I don't really appreciate it. I noticed that. that you're kind of weird and, you know, you're, like, you different and you just really, like, try to fit in more to the environment, you know, increase the environment. Are you an immature three-year-old? You, you don't do that kind of thing at work. We didn't call the police or anything. I, I didn't ask for a bunch of excuses, okay? If you want to know something about me, you can ask me. You want to ask me something? Send running around blabbing about it. Obviously. Yeah, I'd like to know what's what's wrong with you because you're weird. Yeah, it can be kind of hard for me to keep all my head, my thoughts in my head, and straighten things out. I got too many thoughts going through too fast, and I can get kind of rattled. But I do what Makes I can. You want to be so weird? Why do you want to be weird? You've not seen other people that have a difficult time with an attention. Well, I've story. never seen that before. Like me and my girlfriends, we've never seen that. Before. I have AS. I have something that causes symptoms that people don't always understand and it causes me to have a little bit of trouble adapting with certain things but it isn't too bad I need to take medication to make sure I can think straight otherwise I have too many thoughts going through my head at once it keeps me on task and I might not be as socially adept as you are. You're a little popular girl. You know, I, I'm more socially clumsy and I don't think I have the same need for friends anyway. I'm not someone that can s have spontaneous enjoyment. That's the phrase that said, I, I don't exactly enjoy the same things or in the same ways. I don't even think I have the same need to talk to people as much as you do, but it doesn't mean that it's bad, it just means that it's different. I comprehend things a little bit differently. It's just that I thought, I thought you were really mean, you know? At first, like, I tried to talk to you and, and maybe I wouldn't really like what you'd say back or, like, I, I felt like you ignored me a couple times. I, I don't, maybe you didn't hear me. I felt like you heard me. I just thought that you should want to be popular like us, you know, and you just, you just want to have friends, you know? I talked to my friend Stacy. It seemed like you just you just had no friends. We just wanted you to be more normal and, and have friends and hang out with friends and stuff. You know, I'm not going to always be part of you and and things like that. Sometimes people are just different. It needs to be okay for them to be different, not be classified in a box the way that you did. Popular girls like to to classify yourselves. It's okay for someone to be by themselves and be different and just handle things the way that they handle them. I don't mean to be mean to people. I sometimes don't know a nicer way to say something. I can be socially clumsy, but I do the best that I can. I never mean harm to people. But I don't always know a better way to say something. But then even when we would talk to you, it's like we would think that you, you didn't want to talk to us, like you'd be mean and rude. I never ignore someone on purpose, but when you have thoughts going through your head as close together as what an aspirated person does. Sometimes it's possible not to hear something or not to notice something. But I pay close attention the best I can and know how. Is there something that people can do different just so that people don't, you know, jump to the wrong conclusion or think that they're weird or don't know what else to think? I mean, because I don't know what to do. It's because I see someone different and I just, I just like I automatically want to talk about them. And what am I supposed to say or think or do so that people like can stop doing that or just understand that it's it's not really such a bad thing, you know? Well, one thing you're not going to do is tell people that I'm weird or talk about things about me that are weird or give me weird little looks or make things complicated or uncomfortable for me at, at work or at class. You just need to accept that people are different and there might not be always answers for things. You may not always be able to understand everything, but it needs to be okay for you not to understand everything about a coworker without making things complicated or uncomfortable. It needs to be okay for people to learn differently without people saying that they're stupid for not understanding something. How can they not understand something when it's so easy for everyone else because there will always be one person something you can be hard for, even if 30 other people get it without a problem. And you need to leave this person alone to be able to figure things out themselves without 
adding to it by gossiping with your little girly girls. That's something that we would really appreciate. People like me, Aspies like me. I happen to actually be doing well on the autism spectrum, even though it may not always look like that. There are a lot of people who have done a lot worse, people that can't even speak until they're six, things like that. I actually have managed to do pretty, pretty good and pretty okay for the most part, even though other people would see things as weaknesses or flaws, I actually feel like I've managed to do great and get better and better every day. You know, I don't need little girly girls like you gossiping with your little girly girl friends and making things difficult and more complicated and more uncomfortable. You need to leave us alone and find something better to talk about.